Is it ready? Yes. You recording? Yes. Hey guys, this is Nelson. and welcome back to yet another video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a wonderful day. So today we're gonna to talk about creating cinematic images inspired by this Indiana Jones image that you're looking at right now on the screen using one single light. So let's get straight into it. So for the past few days, my daughter and I have been watching movies every single night. And one of the movies that we saw was Indiana Jones. And the poster that I saw for Indiana Jones really inspired the shoot that you're about to see. Immediately when I saw it, I was drawn to it because that is the light and style I love. In examining this image, it appeared they used one light source with a CTO gel, a fill to help fill in the shadows, and some texture in the background. Now, this image could be a composite image, I have no idea, but it still inspired me to create the images that you're about to see. There were some other images that inspired this photo shoot, which are for sure composite images, which you're seeing right now on the screen. However, what I really loved about these images was the lighting, which spoke to my style of photography. Now, let's talk about the gear that I used for this photo shoot. I used one light, a seven inch reflector plate, a 30 degree grid, a CTO gel, a fog machine, the Canon EOS R5 with a 24 to 70 lens and a reflector for fill. From a gear perspective, this is a very simple setup. All you really need is one simple light to make beautiful images. Now let's talk about the execution of this image. Executing this image was very simple once I break down the process and the setup. The light placement was very important on how I created these images. The light had to be placed camera right of the subject to ensure it added a bit of flare into the lens. The light also needed to wrap a bit around the subject to create the effect I was looking for. The reflector plate was also important as it helped to narrow the beam of light in my small home studio. But what helped to narrow the beam much more was the 30 degree grid. If I didn't control the light in that way, it would have bounced all around my home studio and the effect would have been much different. With photography, you must control the light, whether that would be natural light or artificial light. Just pointing your camera and hoping for something beautiful to appear on the back of your camera is okay, sometimes, when you are playing around. But to master your craft, you need more than hope. You need control. Once the light was in place and I was getting the effect I wanted, the next step was just simply adding some fill on my subject to ensure she wasn't completely in shadow. I used the silver side of the reflector to ensure it added some punch and the light was able to bounce off. Now, one last thing I wanna say about the light is that you don't have to use a constant light like I did in this particular video to create these images. You could also use a flash. However, using a constant light allows you to get to the image quicker than with using a flash, but you can definitely duplicate this using a flash. Now, the last factor to creating these images was the camera and the camera settings on the camera. So let's talk about that really quick so that you guys can get an idea what exact settings I use to create these images. The ISO was 1,250, the shutter was 1, 1 25th, and the aperture was 2.8. Now those are the settings that I use to create these images. Now, none of those settings explains why I created these images, or how I created these images. I'm not really sure why photographers obsessed over those settings, but those are the settings. Now the settings that was important to creating this image was the f-stop. Now the f-stop adds a little bit of depth to the images, especially when you're trying to create these types of images. So that's one of the settings that was really important to creating this image. Now another setting that was important to creating these images was the Kelvin. Now Kelvin, in my view is one of the most creative tools that you can use on your camera. I utilize this tool very effectively 
to help bring the final images on the back of my camera as closely as I can get it. So when I'm showing my clients or showing my subjects the back of my camera, it's effectively trying to get to that final images. So I have mostly like 80%, 90% of the image that they're seeing on the back of my camera, which basically is the final product, hopefully, right? That I'm trying to show them. So the Kelvin, you could play with the Kelvin to get really creative looking images on the back of your camera. Now, let me just talk about one other thing that I used in this video before we move on to the final images. And that is the tube light that you saw me using in this video. Now that light just add a little bit of red into the shadows to help fill in the shadows a, a bit. And I use that light on one image that you will see in this video as well. So you can use many different things to help create the images that you want as long as you're trying to solve a problem. Now, let's get straight into these images and I hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> all right guys so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed the images if you did comment down below let me know which one of these images were your favorite um, let me know which one you're going to try to duplicate so i could see it make sure you tag me please so i could see those images that you're going to be posting and creating from this video all right guys, so please go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. Put some comments down below. Again, let me know what you think. Share this video with your friends and family. And guys, if you got this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, what are you waiting for? Please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Games. Hey, looking for the champ, we on the way. Yeah. Now's your chance to say it to my face. Uh. I'ma take the title to my grave. Yeah. Spirit show, I turn you all to pay. Dropping all bombs, I drop bombs, I drop bombs. Yeah, I got bite like mambo and python. Dropping all bombs, I drop bombs.